I'm Katie Jordan. I'm a senior research associate based at the Faculty of Education at the University of Cambridge, and I work as a researcher with the EdTech Hub. The main research project that I'm working on at the moment is looking at the use of a mobile phone-based educational platform in Kenya. So this is a project that's in collaboration with a team from Mshule, which is a platform that uses SMS and simple rule-based AI to personalise content for learners. And being mobile phone-based has lower connectivity requirements and can be used by a wider range of learners. The main research question that we are looking at through this project is one of whether the experiences of girls and boys differ when they're using this form of edtech, and if so, to understand why that is the case. So it's really important when looking at edtech initiatives to... <laughs> consider whether there are any differences in experiences for boys or girls, because depending on whether they have equitable access to the technology, there's a risk that using it for education might um, make gender divides worse. There's a lot of interest around gender equity and ed tech because um, it's linked to economic arguments for promoting girls' education, but it's very rare to find robust ed tech studies which have even considered whether there are any differences according to gender. So the general lack of robust tech evaluation studies in low-income contexts anyway, but it's even harder to find ones that have actually disaggregated their results by gender. So while we often talk about a focus on girls' education, it's really a broader focus on gender equity because depending on the barriers to using ed tech, yeah, very much according to context um, in terms of device ownership, assumptions about whether using ed tech is more appropriate for girls or boys, or other responsibilities outside of school, such as chores or jobs. So it's really important to consider all of these factors in context alongside the technology itself.